What is going on friends? We are back with the World Cup tiebreaker, the second game between Team Italy, Alexis playing for Team Italy, Reiko is playing for Team Spain, Reiko brought some Bengay semi stall this is a really tough matchup for Alexander, he probably needs Hex to win this, and the score is 1-0 for Team Spain at the moment, I already uploaded the first game for the tiebreaker between Snow and Poik, you guys can check that out if you missed it. So Alex just led off with his, um, I assume it's Damprock Politoed, so he has 8 turns of rain versus a Zapdos. Um, he's probably gonna be pivoting out into something like Ferrothorn here, predicting a Discharge. He could also go Swampert on a Discharge. I assume this is gonna be a double Defog team from Reiko's side. Um, either Defog Zapdos and Defog Mew or Defog uh, Zapdos and Defog uh, Scizor. Swampert is like Alex's main way of breaking through Raikou's team if he can get crits or flinches. Um, other than that, his, almost his entire team gets walled by Chansey. Um, no Tornadoes might um, put in some work with knockoff, but it also gets walled by Zapdos. If it doesn't have knockoff, it can't get rid of Zapdos lefties. It's gonna be really bad for Alex, we shall see. Uh, we don't notice that yet, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, he got out in the Ferrothorn, so he was so maybe hoping that he went for a discharge there, because if his Ferrothorn gets paralyzed, it cannot get burned by, by will o from a Mew or by Skull from Seismitoad. So uh, if Alexander has knockoff, he can try to get rid of the Evilad from the Chansey, but Raikou will probably not allow that to happen. Um, I can see Raikou switching out into his Mew or into his Scizor here. And yeah, Alex is probably not gonna get ahead of this game because of the double defog action. Pretty sure, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but Raikou already also brought like a Bengay team in his last World Cup game where he won. I think it was also with Team Italy. Because like the score was 5-5 five and five of this um, quarterfinals series and now it went to tiebreak. Um, yeah, the first game was Sun Moon Oyo. The third game will be, if, if Alex wins this, there will be a third game between uh, Bro Kappa for Team Italy and L Axel 10 for Team Spain, which would be a rematch and would be really hyped to see. So let's hope Alex can pull through so we can see the third game. He gets rid of the lefties in the Mew, which is a good start, I guess. I mean, it's at least something. So he might go into the Volcanion here predicting a Will-O-Wisp from the Mew, but on the other side, it's a bit risky because if the Mew has knockoff, he would lose his put, uh, choice backs. So Volcanion can be a threat to Raikou's team because he might not want to go hard Seismitoad on the Volcanion because he kind of wants the Seismitoad healthy so it can potentially bring that in on Waterfall from Swampert. And Chansey still takes a lot from um, Steam Eruption in the Rain. He does go for will o -Wisp. And there's his Leech Seed, so he's just gonna go for the chip damage. So the burn's still doing 12% and Armas is really annoying for Alex. The Ferrothorn is getting worn down. So the Mew's probably just gonna go for Softball here to stay healthy. As Alex is either gonna go for a hazard here or switch out into Volcanion. He can also go Lolari, um, which would mean that Reiku would be forced out, because I assume the Lari is gonna be Choice Scarf with a potential trick. Like Lari gets walled by Scissor the entire game, but Alex can double. Like he can go Lari on the Mew and then he can double into like something on the Scissor or like Swampert maybe. Like his Swampert might have to get some flinches or crits this game to put in work for Alex. He gets up the rocks. But like I said, this is gonna be Defog and he's gonna get rid of them as he gets in the uh, Volcanion. And he's probably gonna go for Steam Eruption here. Like I said, Reiku's not gonna go into Seismitoad. He wants to keep that healthy and he has to fear potential Hidden Power Grass. As he deals in the Chansey and he doubles out predicting that in the Swampert. As Chansey basically was his entire team other than Swampert and like I said a potential knockoff from Tornadoes. I assume it's gonna be Life Orb Torn, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. And yeah, he might go for Earthquake here predicting the Seismitoad to come out because the Seismitoad obviously has a Water Absorb. But Raikou might also just stay and go for Softball, waste Rain Turns because there's only two Rain Turns left. I assume this is either going to be four attacks all out attacking Swampert. We already saw it was rocks on the Ferrothorn. Um, so this, this is not going to be rocks on the Pert. The Ferrothorn is probably going to be. In, it showed knockoff and Leech Seed and rocks. So the last move is either Power Rip or Gyro Ball, I think. I mean, Pert is a threat, but Raikou definitely has its check, checks for it. 
I think the Zapdos, the Mew and the Scissor are all going to be kind of fifth dev and then the Chansey and the Seismic Tool are going to be more speed dev orientated. But yeah, the option of Zapdos coming in on Earthquake would raise the turn of rain and Seismic Tool coming in on Waterfall also would raise the turn of rain. But I think Alex will go for Earthquake here as it does a good chunk to Chansey and Seismic Tool. Yeah, Healing Wish from the Ladi will is going to be important for Alex this game. Oh yeah, Raikou might also try to poison the Swampert here. Because if you look... Like I said, like... Swampert is the biggest threat to Raikou's team, so if he gets it poisoned... Alex is going to be forced to Healing Wish that, and then he only has one more chance. And also if the rain ends later on in the game... Or if there's only one rain turn left and Swampert gets a kill on something, um, Ducktree can potentially revenge the Swampert. There's the Earthquake, uh, there is the Toxic Myth. So Alexander gets some necessary hacks that he needs to have a chance in this matchup. So Waterfall kills the Chansey right from this range. So I can see Raikou going into his uh, Seismic Toad on the predicted Waterfall. He goes for Earthquake again. So uh, this does a good chunk. I'm not actually sure if this is more fist or more speed depth. It could be mixed defensive, but it definitely is also some fist depth, I think. Um, we shall see. Alex might just fire off another earthquake, and this might be a rest size method. Oh, he might also just go for Scald and try to burn this. He goes for Scald. Does he get the burn? He does get the burn. Oh my lordy! I mean, it can You can say it kind of makes up for the toxic myth. But yeah, now the Swampert doesn't do any damage. Toxic just means Swampert gets worn down. Burn means you get worn down and you do, don't do any damage. So this is definitely um, bad for Alex and he's gonna be forced to healing wish this up. Because Chansey was his entire team with Swampert being burned. So this does not kill. This does not kill um, the Seismic Toad. So if he, Alex has to go for a crit here because Raikou might try to rest up if he has that. And I assume he's going to be packing heal bell on either the Chansey or the Mew, probably on the Chansey. He goes in the Torn and has the rest. So if he has knockoff, I would definitely go for knockoff. I assume it's going to be Hurricane, Super Powered, maybe Taunt and knockoff, but it could also pack heal turn, we shall see. Um, but yeah, if he had not, um, like knockoff is just helpful to get rid of leftovers on the Zap, because that is probably coming out here from Reiku's side. He goes in a Zap, does. And we do see he does have U turn, so it probably doesn't have knockoff. Which is weird. I mean, it's U turn also can can help in some other matchups, but versus this in this stall matchup, knockoff would have been better. Like versus the stall team here. So he's probably gonna go Ladi to healing wishes Swampert, or he's uh, he might also go Polito to set the rain back up and then pivot into Ladi from there. He goes hard into Ladi. I think I would have gone first into the Polito. Um, Ladius doesn't do anything this matchup. Like I said, because these are probably hard walls. I don't think he's gonna be HP fire when he has a rain team. So he might just hard healing wish into Pert. Um, yeah, Ducktree only has 80 base attack, so like Reiku will need a good amount of damage on the Pert. But if Pert kills something, there's only one turn of rain left. Ducktree can then revenge it with the combination. He healing wishes with Pert. Ducktree can revenge the Pert with the combination of Earthquake and the reversal potentially later in the game. Um, so we will see now what this Pert is. He's either gonna go out in the Politoed if he doesn't have Rainance on this Pert, or if he has Rainance he can go for that. Uh, Reiku can go for U-turn here, get some chip damage on the Pert. I could see this being SD Scissor, I don't remember Benge using... Like, Benge used some sort of team like this, I don't know if he had the exact same ones, but I'm pretty sure he made this team. He does have Rainance, there's the U-turn to get some chip damage. Every damage on this one but for Reiku is amazing because this is the biggest threat to his team. If he gets rid of Pert, um, Tornado is already sure they probably doesn't have knockoff because U-turn on the Zapdos instead of getting rid of the lefties. The combination of like Chansey plus Zapdos probably walls Alex's entire team. Unless he can get like Steam Eruption crits with the um, Volcanion. Ducture can also revenge the Volcanion after some prior damage. I assume Earthquake does like 60 to 75. Maybe like 70, because uh, like I said, Dougie only has 80 base attack in the RS OU metagame or in RS in general. <laughs> So he's probably gonna go into Zapdos or Chansey. Um, if it's Mew's fist death, I can also see him going into Mew. But there's always the risk of getting flinched. 
one. So he might... He does go into Mew. He, losing his leftovers is also nice. Like, um, knocking off... Yeah, I guess that makes some sense. He has knockoff on Ferrosong. He doesn't have knockoff on Tornadus. U-turn is better in other matchups. Does he get the flinch? He does get the flinch. This is really nice for Alex. So Reiku might... Um, Alex might go for Earthquake here. Predicting the Zapdos slash Seismic Toad. Because if Reiku goes into Toad here, he would get his water absorbed from the waterfall. Pretty sure he will just Earthquake here. Question is, will Raikou sack this Mew? There's only heals on the Feral Thorn and maybe on the Politoed. And technically, like, it's kind of hard for Raikou to switch into this, so I guess he might just sack his Mew. I mean, I assume he's just gonna go for Earthquake because he does not want the Seismic to get the potential water absorb, right? There is the Seismic he goes for Earthquake. Oh, Seismic was at full, never mind, it rested up. So it would not have gone water absorbed, but it would have rested a turn of rain. There's only two turns of rain left, which means if he 2 it kills the Seismic Toad, Oregu might also take his Mew here. He can potentially come in with Dougie. I just don't know if Earthquake into Reversal would kill, because like I said, Dougie only has 80 base attack in Aorus. Um, so it might be a roll from Earthquake into Reversal. I think Regu has still good chances to win this. There is a crit, so he does get rid of the Scythe too. So he, I think there was a second Hex already in Alex's favor. He dodged the Toxic early, I think he flinched the Mew and now he crit the Seismic Toad if I remember correctly. Those were all the hexes that he got, but he also got the Gold Burn, so it kind of evens out. And yeah, you guys probably saw the first game between Snow and um, Poik, there was already some hex in Team Spain's favor, so... And that sentence, the Italian players probably will be like, Justice, Justice, if Alex gets hex in this game. So he's either gonna roost here, wasting the last range run, because if I recall correctly... The rain is gonna end here because he set up rain dance with a swamp root. He didn't set up the rain with a drizzle from the polytoad, so it's only gonna last for five turns instead of eight turns. Um, I mean, Alex might just go for waterfall flinches, <laughs> but I could also see him going to Nadis here, predicting his U-turn, wanting to keep this, um, not wanting to risk the U-turn, because because if the U-turn on the swamp root comes out then he's probably in range from Dougie to get revenged from Earthquake and to reversal for sure if he's not in range yet the U-turn damage is probably is gonna, gonna guarantee that I mean I'm not gonna any, run any calcs now I don't wanna miss any turns but yeah he lost his water absorb one which means Alexander can spam waterfall now and if he gets crits or flinches, it's gonna be really bad for Reiku. I assume Scissor takes less than half from this for sure. Like, Scissor's really get great fist death, the Mega. Scissor Mega. So, yeah, he, did, he does make the Tornadoes play because if he stayed then he would have gone trapped by Dougie. The rain would have ended. The rain does end now. I assume he's gonna go just for a U turn here so Reiku can't pull any double switches. I mean, it's. He probably doesn't have knockoff, just from what we've seen so far. He already showed knockoff on Ferrothorn and Yuzon on the with the Torn. Um, so he can U-turn into his Purd here. Because Zapdos can't touch the Purd, but Zapdos can go for Heat Wave here to get chip damage on the Purd. Hmm. Like if Alexander loses his Swamp Purd, his other win condition is going to be Hurricane Confusion later on with the Tornadoes. We shall see what happens. I mean, if the if there's no hex anymore in this game, I think Ereku still wins. So he does go into Politoed. So he just wants the rain back up and he's willing to take damage. I think he has at least max HP. I think Politoed has like neutrally decent speed dev. Not sure if it has any speed dev investment. But yeah, definitely max HP, I think. So yeah, he's gonna bring his Swampert back in. Or his Ferrothorn, but I think Swampert is just the Pokemon that Alex wants in because Ferrothorn doesn't really help him much.
Because, like I said, the double defog from Reiko is just going to prevent the rocks from going up. And he's... The Feral Zone coming in also means that Reiko can potentially heal up the Mew. Even though Reiko would have to decide if he would bring in the Mew on the Feral Zone. Would have to decide if he goes for Soft Ball or Defog. And he, probably, he will probably um prefer Defogging over his over that, but he yeah, just makes a Swampert play and now he's gonna fire off Waterfalls, hope for flinches. He does have 6 turns of rain left because the Apolitoad with the Damp Rock set up the rain this time, not the Swampert with the Rain Dance. So Reiko's either gonna roost or he turn here. I think the only damage that Swampert took so far was 30% uh, from a uh, U-turn, right? I don't remember, but I think the damage that it took so far was from the U-turn from the Sis. Yeah, he's gonna go for Waterfall Flinches, I assume. I mean, does Alex have another play other than spamming Waterfall? If he switches out, he's gonna lose momentum to a U turn. He does switch out in the Torn. I'm not really sure why. Maybe U turn damage from Scissor would have brought the Swampert into a reversal range. But there's still the option of flinching the Dagger because the rain would have still been up. Like, if the rain would have ended pretty soon, like I would have understand that play, but the rain was still up. So I thought he just wanted to swamp it in and spam waterfall. But he probably wants to have to swamp it in with something like Chansey that But even with his Chansey if he gets poison it's gonna be bad for Alex. <laughs> but Chansey's probably not gonna stay in on the swamp it the next time because he's free to spam waterfall like I said since Size Metal went down and Waterfall does probably like sixty to Chansey. I think I remember Alfred doing like forty three. Not 100% sure about that play though, switching out the Perd, I think he should've just... Like Perd is the thing that he wants in and he wants to just fire off waterfalls and hope for crits or flinches. Um, other than, uh, the Volcanion is a potential threat, yeah. Volcanion with um, Steam Eruption burning the chance you're critting with is also a really nice option for Alex. That can potentially put in work. But he's obviously gonna U-turn out. Back into Swampert, I guess. Because Zapdos can't really touch the Perl. What, what would be really bad for Alex if Swampert gets a Heat Wave burn on the incoming? Like if Zapdos gets a Heat Wave burn on the incoming Swampert? It would probably be game over. Man, they're taking real long. <laughs> I mean, I can understand it. Like if you're Alex, you're trying to think this through, you gotta calculate if the doggy can revenge your swamp it always after you kill something, but it's uh, it's overall really tough for Alex. He just goes for Hurricane Confusion. Maybe hoping that he doesn't go for Discharge, yet he does go for Heat Wave, so I can understand Alex's player. Because if he gets a Hurricane Confusion, the Zapdos can hit himself and then he can U-turn out and get some chip damage and then the Zapdos might be in range from Waterfall. Or at least really close to Waterfall range. So he does U-turn out, I assume, into the Swampert now, but the rain is gonna end in like three turns after this turn. Yeah, that's the heat wave. If he burns, this game is over. He does not get the burn. And now he's gonna waterfall three turns left. As Reiko's probably gonna sack off his Mew here, I assume. I mean, he can Ruth too, but... Like, Mew's not gonna heal m on much. But he must also wait until like Swampert is in and the rain is about to end and then sack his Mew so he can revenge it with Earthquake and the reversal from Dougie. That might be the plan. That might be a Reiku's plan here. So if he would sack the Mew now, there would still be two turns left. He goes Hard Scissor. Does take less than half, so the Scissor has to be really fizzed death. So yeah, Alex has to <laughs> crit or flinch here. But the thing is, if he gets it, he, even if he gets it... There's only two turns of left, so he's gonna... Oh, two turns of rain left, so he's gonna get revenged by the Dougie then. And then his only win con is 
and Volcanion coming through. And even Volcanion will be will get revenge by Dagi if it gets um if it takes some prior damage. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is rough for Alex. Even though he still he already got some hacks in his favor, it's still rough. Yeah, Aquadel does 2 hit KO, that's true. I have never really seen that in Auras, I don't know why, because I think NJMP mentioned that it 2 hit KOs Fizz Death Skarmory in Rain, or has a chance at least to 2 hit KO, and also 2 hit KOs Zapdos, but he has also the chance of missing, so I can understand why you would run Waterfall. So yeah, if... Hmm. Like, Reiko knows there's only one range and left after this. So he might U-turn here, predicting the... Not predicting anything, just if the Thrombat stays then he's gonna get then revenge by the Doggy. So yeah, he knows that he won't potentially get revenge, so he just switches out. The rain is still up, so he can Steam Eruption here. Chansey will take around 40% from this, or like 37 maybe. That's just my head calc. But yeah, if he gets a burn on a Chansey, that would be really nice. He sacks off the Mew, which is understandable. Because if we go Chansey, yeah, this might, might be bad. So I don't think he would go Duck Tree because it's... Oh yeah, I forgot that the Chansey was at 57. My bad, guys, my bad. <laughs> so he, he couldn't have gone hard on the Chansey. That was definitely the correct play by Reiku. So that's why he kept the Mew as a sack earlier, because um, his Chansey already took prior damage. I think it was an Earthquake from the Pearl that the Chansey took, if I recall correctly. Or was it a Hydro... Was it a Rain Boosted... Was it a Rain Boosted Steam Eruption or was it um, an Earthquake? I think it was an Earthquake that the chance he took earlier. But he's gonna soft build up here, obviously. Without the rain, the, there's no business. Like, Alex has no business staying in with the Volcanion. I think this might have rest this Polytoad for longevity. So he could go for a Seismic Toss. I could see Alex bringing in his. Either Tornadoes or the Ferrozone to get some Iron Bulbs damage, pretty near Seismic Toss. Did Reiko ever get a Brox this game? I assume Seismic Toss is a Stealth Rock setter and his chance is gonna be packing a Soft Boiled Heal Ball Toxic. And a Seismic Toss. Soft Boiled Heal Ball Toxic set. He does go for Encore. So he predicted a chance to stay in and go for uh, Seismic Toss or Toxic. And Reiku predicted either the Swampert to come out or I'm not sure. I think he predicted the Swampert. But I don't think Alex was going hard pert there ever because he, if he takes a Toxic or a Seismic Toss, his main win condition would have gotten weakened. So he gets a free U-turn here. He knows that he still has healable support from Chansey so he doesn't have to fear anything from... Um, if he gets Gold Burn from the, from the Toad. Is Toad even faster than Cesar? That's kind of embarrassing that I don't know the speed tiers. Yeah, I actually don't know the speed tier. But yeah, the rain is... Um, after this, still 5 turns the rain up, so... <laughs> that made no sense, that, that was a weird sentence on my end. But he's gonna go Zap this year. He can also go Chansey, but there's... The reason why you don't want to go Chansey is because... If you go Zapdos, you get a free round of leftovers, and if you go Chansey, there's always you're always gonna get weakened by U-turn um, into. If you go for Seismic Toss, you're gonna take Iron Bob's damage from the Feral Thorn. The Feral Thorn can leech seed and be annoying. But yeah, um, if Reiku's Stealth Rocker was the Seismic Toss, that's nice for Alex that he's not gonna have to fear rocks on his side because Alex doesn't have that control. Because if rocks would go up, this game would just be over even faster. Because Volcanion would get into range from Dougie quicker. So he's gonna find a waterfall here. There's three turns of rain left. And yeah, like I said earlier, if he if he gets the flinch, he has a tweet key on his scissor, but then he still gets revenged by the Dougie. So it's just tough for Alex, because if he switches out, the scissor is back at full. And, but if he gets the flinch, he's gonna get revenged by the Dougie. So this is just annoying for Alex. You shall see if he goes for the full inch or if he decides to go back in the turn. I'm not gonna lie, this is no, not the most exciting, not the most exciting game, but it's still tie break. Yeah, 
Yeah, for the Germany versus East Cyberica, it's gonna be ABR versus Get This Money. I think Brofist aka John versus Mazar and BKC versus Betch for GSC. And he does get the flinch. Whew. So the question is here if you Alexander, do you switch out? He he does decide to kill off the scissor. So now he's gonna get revenged by the Dagi. Unless he gets a flinch. If he gets a flinch, he might be able to live a reversal. Yeah, he's probably able to live a reversal if he flinches the Dagi. If he still had the healing wish on the per if he still had the healing wish Larry, it would be really nice for Alex. I mean it doesn't matter if he gets if he doesn't get the flinch, he's gonna get bopped anyway. But if he does get the flinch and he mm, then he can lift the reversal and if he then still had the healing wish, this would be in Alex's favor. <laughs> Dennis in the chat, nothing but sweet justice. <laughs> he was um he said that because of the first game where there was hex in Spain's favor. So he's gonna go for Earthquake, Reiko's gonna go for Earthquake here. Reiko's gonna go for Waterfall or Ice Punch. Waterfall would go would be the flinch option, Ice Punch would be the freeze option. So we saw from this uh, Waterfall, Earthquake and Rain Dance. I think the last move is Ice Punch, right? I think it might be the better play to go for the freeze if you're Alex. Actually, never mind, the, the flinch chance is higher. The flinch chance is like 20%, right? The freeze chance is only 10% if I'm not mistaken. Does he get the flinch? If not, his Swampert is dead and this game should be over. He does not get the flinch. The rain does end, so he can just click reversal here. I mean, also Earthquake killed, but he's probably gonna click reversal because it's stronger and... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, he does click Earthquake. It doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. It's not like Mega Swampert could carry Rocky Helmet or anything. So, like, he didn't lose anything from reversal. Maybe he just doesn't want to reveal his entire moveset. But it's pretty obvious that he has reversal in my opinion. Should be Earthquake reversal, maybe Screech, maybe Sucker Punch, maybe Toxic. I don't remember what Dougie runs in Auras other than Earthquake reversal. But yeah, I've seen, I've seen Screech too and Toxic for to, to like somewhat deal with Chansey. But yeah, he's gonna go for U-turn here obviously as I assume Rake is just gonna throw in his Zapdos. This Duck Trio is still valuable to um, pick off the Volcanion if he gets some chip damage on that. I think he needs like 20-30% maybe on the Volcanion to kill it with the Earthquake from the Dagi. Yeah, I've already said this, but not having knockoff on this Torn just sucks for Alex. Like, it's kinda hard to like give more new opinions, like, or like to say, to talk about like new things, cause it's kinda like, there's not that much to say, like it's, this game is in Raikou's favor. Because Swampert was the biggest threat, like I said, and it's now gone. And Dougie's gonna be able to trap the Volcanion too if that gets some prior chip damage. And the game is pretty much gonna be over unless Alexander can hurry can confuse the Zapdos down. Like, Chansey basically walls everything besides the Feral Zone at this point. Um, or Volcanion in the rain can do a lot of steam erosion if it burns or crits. But other than that, Chansey's like. Chansey plus Zapdos walls everything now. And like I said, Dougie in the back can eventually. Kill the volcano after some more damage on that. It gets weakened a bit, is what I should say, because I think volcano is still full, right? So he does U turn out, he's probably gonna go into the Politoed here to get the rain up. Reiko might then go for Heat Wave, predicting a pivot into the Feral Zone. We shall see. I'm 29 minutes in the recording and only 35 turns played. Timer is on and they, man, they're still taking so long. It's fine. He does uh, set the ring back up and I don't know if he wants to sack this. Probably wants to keep it still. So, if he goes Volcanion on a discharge, he's in range from Dougie, so that's probably not the play. Probably gonna go Pharaoh here or sack the Polytoad. Yeah, he needs to kind of knock off the lefties from the zap with the Pharaoh, and then he can come through with Hurricane Confusion. Yeah, Chansey's still at full. 
There's gonna Feral predicting a discharge, gets it correct, and he's gonna knock off here because knock off either kills the Dagi or it gets rid of the lefties on the Zapdos or the Evalid on the chance he. Uh, I think um, Raikou can afford to lose his lefties on the Zapdos. A Violet on Chansey is more important to check the um, Specs Volcanion. Unless he's confident enough that he can just get chip damage on Volcanion and then trap it with a Dougie, we shall see. He does go for Heatwave and there's the knockoff I assume. So left the lefties are gone on the Zapdos, but yeah. It's still looking in Reiku's, like heavily in Reiku's favor. Ferrozon's probably gonna get sacked off and then he's gonna go into Volcanion to click Steam Eruption. Since Gen Z's at full, he can probably, um, Reiku can probably switch that hard into the Steam Eruption. I think he only used one or two softballs so far, I don't remember. I think one. So yeah, it's either Steam Eruption. Steam Eruption might kill because it's in the rain, it's probably specs. And yeah, we shall see. If this Zapdos dies, he can win with uh, Volca if he has superpower on his torn. So Reiku is definitely not staying in here. Like I said, probably just gonna go into Chansey. I mean, if he just burns the Steam Eruption, then he gets... Uh, the Chansey can't really heal that much if he burns. The only problem is that the rain will eventually run out, so if he spams Softbolt and the rain ends, the next the Steam Eruptions are gonna do less then. And Chansey is gonna be able to eat it up. He does go chance he's at full and there is there is the burn so this is nice for Alex. If he gets a crit now this is potentially over in Alex's favor. Um, Reiku might just go for Seismic Toss. If Seismic Toss pushed this in range from the Dagi, I think that's Reiku's correct play because he only needs the chance to kill the Volcanion. But if Alex switches out in the to in the uh, in the tornadoes on a on the seismic toss, this is also bad for for Reiku. So I think softball is still the better play here. Softball is probably still the better play for Reiku. Yeah, we will see. I think Alex just has to go for the crit here. I mean, it does. We, we did see it at 41 plus the burn, so it does more than half combination of burn plus the eruption, as long as he gets like the same roll. Oh, Zapdos also outspeeds Volcanion, does it? I, I don't think it kills from full, he needs pride damage. Yeah, Zapdos is defensive, I don't know if it outspeeds. So they're asking how much does EQ do. Hopefully someone posts a calc. <laughs> then is in the chat crit here. Hopefully someone posts a calc for... How much Steam Eruption does. And how much earthquake from Ducky does? How much earthquake from Ducky does is what I mainly want to know. I think if you Alex just uh, spam it again, yeah, I think Alex already clicked this move. Reiku is thinking here if he should just seismic toss, and if that revenge, if he then can revenge it with Ducky, or if he should go for soft boiled. <laughs> Someone's a hydro vortex here. <laughs> it's obviously choice bags and Z move don't exist, but he's probably just trolling. I know, I know. He's just trying to have some fun. Let him have fun. <laughs> I mean, Chansey cannot recover enough at the moment, but if the rain ends, it can recover enough. So I think spamming softball is fine as long as you don't get hexed, uh, like, as long as you don't get crit. There's the steam eruption, there's no crit. He goes for seismic toss, so this was a risky play, but now this should be in range from Earthquake from Dagi, and I think Zapdos wins the game for Reiku. But it was definitely risky because if Alex would have gone into a Tornadus. And his chance he would have been um, kind of low. So what uh, Reiku would have had to do, now he can trap the Volcano with the Dagi because it should be even from Earthquake, but what Reiku had to do otherwise would be, um, his chance he would have been pretty low if uh, Alex switched out into the Tornadoes, because the Tornadoes probably has super power to kill the Chansey from that range. So Alex could have then U-turn predicting the Zapdos and if he was... No, I think it doesn't matter. Because if he was not in, if he then if his Zapdos is not in range, if his Volcanion is not in range from the Zapdos, and he then 
Raikou just sacks off his Chansey anyway to the next Demon Eruption and traps him with Dougie. So I think that was a fine play by Raikou. He just had to get rid of the Volcanion. And now, that, um. I know, he might just sack his Dougie off because Zapdos should win the game. Yeah, he just sacks his Dougie. Um, Alex's last win condition is the Confusion. Zapdos is at 74. He had no lefties, so I assume he's gonna go for Roost here. Um, Alex might U turn first to get the rain back up to have 100% accurate Hurricanes. To like give him a higher chance of getting the of at least at least he guarantees hits the hurricanes and then he has he can get the 30% confusion. So Mazar in the chat is saying he could have clicked rocks with the um, with the Ferrothorn. He does sack off the um, the Politoed as the Zapdos is fast and now he's just gonna hope for hurricane confusion. So I think what Mazar meant his Ferrothorn was burned. So he could have spammed Stealth Rocks, and then even if the Zapdos defogs, the Ferrothon eventually dies. As the game is over, Raikou, Raikou does win Spain. Congratulations to Team Spain. It was Hexy, and um, first game was Hexy in uh, favor of Spain. Second game was Hexy a little bit in Alex's favor, but the Raikou had a really good matchup. Um, oh well. And <laughs> Raikou is saying, what the fuck is he saying? Dude, the Italians are gonna be so mad now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mazar said he could have gone for rocks, but... Yeah, yeah, he could have gone for rocks because... The Zapdos is faster than the Ferrothons, and the Ferrothon goes for rocks after the Zapdos. And the Ferrothon then dives... To the heat wave or to the burn damage, right? And... Zapdos cannot defog if the Ferrothon dies on that turn to the burn. But I'm not sure if there was a scenario, if he could have created a scenario where he could have uh, won that way. Um, but yeah, congratulations to them Spain for making it to World Cup Round 3 aka semi-finals. <laughs> Reiko going in, you can all shut the fuck up Italians. <laughs> and yeah, Benge just said, Reiko, you shouldn't talk shit when you're using Dougie Aids, just my two cents. I think this is the team made by Benge. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, it feels bad for the Italian people, the viewers, um, and for the players. They brought it to a 5-5 five, five after, I think they were down 3-5 at first, and they made it to a tiebreaker. But yeah, they lost 2-0 in this tiebreaker, you guys can check out the first game. Like I said, it will be linked at the end of the video, you should see it on the screen somewhere. And I might also link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys with the tiebreaker between US East and Team Germany. Stay tuned for that. And after the tiebreaker of that series, we'll see you with more uh, semi-finals from World Cup that are going to be coming up then. This was quarterfinals. So thank you guys for watching. Doctor signing out. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.